Returning to International Stadium Yokohama, Wales took on South Africa in another titanic battle of hemispheres. Since the 2015 quarter-final where the Springboks got the upper hand, these sides have met four times with Wales winning the lot. A statistic that will certainly give the Welsh inspiration as they look to reach their first Rugby World Cup final in history. Could Wales cause another semi-final upset or would it be the favourite South Africa to meet England in the final? We're going again on semi-final weekend. South Africa v Wales and it's a good handle from the kickoff via Ross Moriarty taking it towards the 22 and now checking the right back is Davis in his 50th test match seeing it down the park to Dwayne Vermeule and he'll be happy to charge all night long takes three Welsh defenders to drop him Pollard goes to the air early and through they swarm the box, but it's taken beautifully by Halfpenny, and he gets some metres on the other side. Now held up, though, and this will most likely not come out when the bowl constrictor, that is, Ebenezer Beth, gets his arms around you. Absolutely outstanding, wasn't it, from Eben Itzabeth. The first turnover of this match, Sean, is well taken by Leif Halfpenny. He's done that time and time again, but just the physical mismatch was on the side of Eben Nitz with great start, South Africa. Davis with a feed. Moriarty links with him down the short side, and it's a good ball out in front as well as their big barnstorming winger North gets an early touch. We're part of the field as well here for Wales. Wynne Jones gets buckled in the tackle there by Itzabeth. Bigger, fly for Owens. Bigger, now angling through. Davis, lovely ball across the park for Adams. The speedster, back to Davis, we're coming back. The pass was forward. Encouraging signs, though, for the Welsh down this left-hand side. Oh, yeah, it is. Just got to the outside of the South African defence. This is what Jonathan Davis can do, real flat ball to Josh Adams. Just maybe the wind's caught it and pushed it forward. To Clerk, Nikosi. Nikosi, good leg drive through contact. Takes his team into the 22 and now with a penalty advantage. Fuff to Clerk with a hit and hope across for Mapimpi. He won't win that. Looping battle against George North, who is not happy with the contest. That's fiery out there. Even the wingers are getting involved, KT. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but as you expect, though, two teams putting it all on the line. Yeah, lots made of no Chelsea and Colby, but that's a great carry from the replacement, Nicosi. Real powerful leg drive, isn't it? Straight to Dan Bigger, goes high. Need to go low. We saw earlier the difference. Aaron Wainwright, chop tackle, get to the man to the ground early, allows players to come in and win the penalty. Brilliant work from Nicosi. Andre Pollard with the first shot at the poles tonight. Into the breeze. No problem for Pollard. South Africa are on the board. It's 3 0. Down and pop for Parks. Bumps hard in a Pollard no, there. It is. Who okay, sits at the feet of Parks. Davis. Good work again down this left hand side. North holding up for Adams. Adams. Five tries already this tournament for Adams. Ten away. They're offside there. South Africa. So now Wales a chance to chance. Their arm. Parks puts it in over the top. We're coming back to the mark and they couldn't help themselves flying through they infringe the spring box and Wales get the penalty yeah they've been rock solid in defense South Africa throughout this tournament but it's brilliant back play again just yeah. behind the back to release George North does well draws the man Mapimpi went high and then it's Willie LaRue 
Very, very silly penalty. So this time around, it is bigger with the breeze. Tough angle. In he goes, and bigger, and he black dots it. 3-3, 17 gone. Yeah, it's a world-class goal kicker, Dan Bigger, and that is a sensational kick. Really difficult angle. Just such a confident player. And that will settle Wills down. Let's get you up close to this one. Listen to the contact. Now the wait from South Africa looking to juice the penalty and doing so. Nikosi out the back he goes for Pollard who leaves the ball behind will come back to the mark. And it's another penalty for South Africa in kicking range if they want it. Yeah, big call here. Interesting to see what South Africa, do they go for that ominous driving line out or do they back themselves and go for the post? They've gone for the post, they've gone for the points. That was an outstanding scrum from South Africa. Dwayne Vermula and the big number eight holds it at the back and just see the second shove. Wales just can't take the pressure. Fortunately, the back line in this opening half has not fired for South Africa in any way, shape or form. Pollard completely mixed up. Yeah, it's a difficult kick for Pollard, wrong side for him. Pollard successful with his first nudge at the uprights and he remains 100 from the tee 6-3 is the score the Springboks are up it's a great contest between both sets of four packs and now it's slid back by Mbnambi to the clerk Day drops his head and drives into the shoulders of Bigger De Klerk having a go himself and he gets creased and it's ripped away. Alan Wynne Jones, then the kick from Parks. The chase is good too. North is there. So too is Halfpenny. But it's with Mapimpi. Cannons himself into Parks. Numbers now for South Africa. Nikosi. Kalisi. Kalisi over to Lucanya. Arm, Lucanya Am linking here with LaRue. Now for De Klerk. Great run of play from South Africa. 24 from the line. Finally, their backs get a chance to show us what they've got. Arm. Davis rushes up quick. Pollard rips it. Long left. Dalenda in behind for Mapimpi. Hope it'll check up for him. Makazoli. Mapimpi, not this time. Parks. No, Mops it up for Wales. Davis. Again. No Happy no to go way. through the phases inside their own 22 here, Wales. And Three, finish, no. it's normally no. resulted with a box kick no. from Davis. That's a carbon copy. This time round, though, it is to touch. Yeah, just a threat that they show, isn't it? And counter-attack. We haven't seen much of the back line, but this time, Nicosi stands up. Wainwright does well to draw Tiprick. Colosi giving it the arm down the wing. Just a great support line there from LaRue. But great cover defence. Good hit on Faf de Klug by Josh Adams. No problems this time around for Etzebe and Bongi Umbanambi. It's a touch this joiner at the back, but they've still managed to... Get themselves the penalty advantage here, South Africa. None coming. We'll go back to the mark. The infringement made by Ken Owens. Yeah, just a bit eager. Ken Owens wills. Try to spin the driving line out, which allows, it opens it up for the guy standing off to come in, and he's caught one. But a claret for Ken Owens. That won't be the first or the last time. Just see him there from the side there. Just right in front of Garcia's clear. I think that's an old one from last week as well. Pollard is South Africa's all-time point scorer at World Cups, and you can put another three 
on the score sheet for the number 10. South Africa bounce it out to a six point lead. And the Welsh fans here at Yokohama so International side. start finding their voice. Chipring. Now they exhaust those numbers in that five metre channel. They look back open. Desperate defence from Detoy who wraps up the runner. Owens angling across the park. There's a big shot off the ball there. Yeah. That should be a penalty, will be. Bongi Mbanambi, bigger, with a hit and hope. North pulls up really, really awkward on that far side. He's not 100. He's not 100 at all. That's the big story out of that run of play. George North has pulled up lame on that far side, chasing that ball. We're coming back for the penalty, but this isn't great for Wales. Let's just have a look at this one on Wayne Wright. Uh, no, it's it's fine. It is just a normal tackle, I think. And this is no good, as you say, George North. It was the way Wales were going to break South Africa here. It was Dan Bigger initially, who's won the high ball so good in that area, but that's not what you want to see. He's going to try and get it out to half-time as George North, but once again, yeah, 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 yeah. important kick by Bigger. Both number 10s have been wonderful from the kicking tee tonight. Bigger pulls the margin back. The difference is three. And at the break here in semi-final number two, it is South Africa who are up by three against Wales. No tries yet. In a first half dominated by putting boot to ball, it was the Springboks who edged out a three-point lead before the break. Who would step up in the second 40 to earn their place to compete on the biggest stage of all? Owens to the front. And now they narrow it. Plenty advantage for Wales. Garces. Ping South Africa. Might be bigger stepping in a moment with a chance to... Take a shot at the poles, the two number nines collide there. De Klerk doesn't know that it, play is dead and it's like a couple of punchy little bulldogs going at it. Just angry, isn't he, Faf De Klerk? He knows he's made the error, just wants to make up for it. Great hit on Gareth Davis, but both those scrum halves, let me tell you, will not take a backward step. Just penalised there, Ebenezer Best was jumping across the line out. To say the line of Wales line has gone really well, but look at that, the two scrum halves. He's up. Knows what he's doing here, Fafta Klug, just trying to get under the skin of Gareth Davis. Jake Ball comes in. And back himself, Fafta Klug. Bigger. Into the teeth of the breeze here. And bigger. And he comes and he hammers it home. We're all square once more. Oh, it's been a masterclass this evening in goal kicking between Pollard and Dan Bigger. Marks to the front, to the giant, that is, R.G. Snyman. Good defence from Wales, all that driving line out, really good. No gains for South Africa, would have worked all week on this. Marks peels away, bounces out of one. Now they've got to climb in quick because he's a touch isolated and it will fall somewhat luckily for Kitsoff and his men. He takes play across the park. Now to Clerk. Swings into action. Diaga. Big minutes again for Lou Diaga. Pollard injects hard now. Marks. Snyman. No intention to pass. Takes it on strongly. So too, Peter no, Steph to Toy. De Klerk. Marks. Let's it go to the back for Pollard. Pollard dancing around the defence. Beats a couple. Pollard nearing the sticks. And now the penalty advantage as well for South Africa. De Klerk somehow weaves it through the line. Still with South Africa. Dale Linde. Dale Linde. Dale Linde. He is deadly! We've got our first try of the night. 
What about the looping pass through traffic and then the finish? Well, it's come from nothing, the 10 and the 12 for South Africa. They've kept it tight, they've gone to the year, but when they do decide to carry, both men are so explosive. There he is, the big man, Mark and Marks. Off the bench again, making an impact. But watch Palladio, brushes away, looks for the offload, gets it again to Marks in support. Another cutting run from Pollard, nowhere to go, but he's such a big physical man. Rides the tackle through the gap. And as you say, penalty advantage. How many tries have you seen in this World Cup? Shot and nothing, Delande, it's called, caused bigger trouble all night. Superb from the inside centre, and he just gets over. Wales, desperate for a try to stay in the fight. Keep it in hand. And they are close, they are three away. Alan Wynne jones Hit well by the reserve props for South Africa. Cock and kicks off. Owens again, the bald head of the hooker, prominent in this run of play. We're up to 13 phases. South Africa not buckling yet. Detroit. Who'll break first? Oh, it's an arm wrestle, isn't it? Still with the Welsh. Owens feeds it back nicely. Carré. Every inch so hard to earn for Wales. 17 phases now. Owens once more. There's nothing doing out wide. They've got to keep it close. South Africa number up really well in defence here. Lewis, they hit reverse for a moment. What's left in the tank for both of these two sides? Penalty advantage now coming for Wales. Williams, wide they go. In behind, it travels! And Adam soars over the top. Penalty Wales. And I think we might be seeing a whole lot more of the same in the coming moments. Yeah, interesting call what they do here, Wills. I think you've got to go for the scrum in this position. I think he's penalised Mark the Marks, who two or three occasions so nearly got over the ball and won a crucial penalty for South Africa. But this is what we talk about, KT, isn't it, with Wills? Just won't go away. We'll just stay in there, win a big penalty here and there to get back into the opposition. It's been a real hallmark over the last few years of this Welsh team. And here we go, the crowd goes up. This is the moment in the game. Big call by the cap. Let's go, he says. Crowd have come to life. It's been fairly subdued because of the nature of the game in this second semi-final. But now we're starting to hear the roar. The tension just got cranked up that little bit more. Under the shadows of the sticks here, Wales, with the feed to the scrum. In it goes, and the weight from the spring box is big, it forces a quick release, Davis across the line, try, 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 Wales, Josh Adams. Oh, great work, Ross Moriarty at the base of that scrum, gets it away quickly. Thomas Williams to Jonathan Davis to Josh Adams, another try in this World Cup for the man. There it goes, brilliant, Faf the clerk tides in, arm steps in, the cosy steps in, quick hands from Jonathan Davis. Great, ooh, great work, reaches in Ross Moriarty to dig that ball out, just off for a split second, he may have knocked it on there, but no. Brilliant finish from Josh Adams. Just got to admire the skill of Ross Moriarty there, under pressure, under duress, head Faf the clerk all over him to get that ball away just to give Wales an opportunity, and then the ball does the rest. Well worked. OK, this to level it up. Halfpenny comes in. Lee Halfpenny. It is a tricky shot at the poles, wide out into the breeze. Halfpenny. Halfpenny. It is... Good off the boot of Lee Harpenny. 16 plays, 16, 15 to go. This game started on a slow simmer and it's about to hit boil as we go inside the final six minutes. 
The ball here with South Africa, and now the arm goes out from referee Garces. De Klerk goes across the park. Pollard with the droppy attempt. It goes into the post, but you know what? He'll be having another dip in just a moment, but from the kicking tee. Yeah, you knew exactly what was coming. Shingler went up at the front to compete, but they kept their shape, South Africa. Brilliant work from Mostart at the front and forced on their Reese carry on the back foot. In he comes, Andre Pollard. 25-year-old in his 47th game with the Springboks. Four from four tonight, and he has not looked like missing up and Till this moment, can he keep it rolling for South Africa? Pollard. Andre Pollard lasers it. They're in the lead, South Africa. They've got four minutes to hold on. George North injured in that first half. Can his forward pack help create a miracle here? South Africa angling towards the post. Penalty! Penalty, South Africa! They've done it. Their big men have gone to work. And they've juiced a penalty from referee Garces. Yeah, clearly the Welsh front row. They've got to try something. They've wheeled right round. Look at the South African bench. They know that's it, it's game over. Andre Pollard just asking the question from Jerome Garces. He's going to tap. South Africa punch their ticket. They are off to the biggest game in rugby. They are World Cup finalists. Next week, it'll be the Springboks v England. Too good for Wales here, full time. South Africa, 19, Wales, 16. Uh, we stayed in the arm wrestle. Um, they are proud of us when we went 16-all, uh, but obviously um, we probably piggybacked the penalties down the park and uh, South Africa took advantage, so uh, congratulations to them. It was nerve-wracking at the end, and I must say, you know, uh, losing the previous four matches against them, it could have gone their way again, and I mean, I've uh, got so much respect for Wells, uh, for their coach, you know, uh, uh, that I thought those last few minutes, you know, uh, they might pull it through again. So uh, I think a little bit of luck on our side. Uh, proud of our guys, but also proud to win against a team like Wales with a really class outfit. So South Africa prevail by the skin of their teeth over a gutsy Welsh side as Andre Pollard kicks his team into the 2019 Rugby World Cup final.